Hello! Today let's learn on how to generate PDF. For this to work, we'll be using Automation to generate the PDF file for us. Automation is available fully for all plan except for free. The one I'm using for this tutorial is Enterprise Standard. Alright, let's get to it. So I have an app that stores employee data. I want to generate a PDF file that consists of the data for that particular employee. First, let's set up the bot in Automation. Create a new bot. Let's give the bot a name. Click on Create a custom bot. Next, we'll be configuring the event. Give the event a name. Once done, click on Create a custom event. You can configure this according to your case. But for this tutorial, I will keep it as general as I can. You can add condition to the event for a specific case such as status equals to active or gender equals to female. Now let's add a step to it. I will name this step as generate PDF. In this step, let's configure the following. Create a new file. Reconfirm on the table data. Ensure the HTTP is set to PDF and create a template. AppSheet will automatically generate a default template for you. Let's have a look at the template itself. For my case, all files are stored in my OneDrive for business. Commonly, the files are stored in your G Drive. This is the default template. Basically, it calls all the columns in the data table that you have selected. Next, let's change the file name prefix. This will set a standard naming convention for your PDF file. For this case, I'll be using name column so that the file generated will be in this format employee name.pdf I will disable the timestamp since I want the file to overwrite the previous version. This is completely optional if you want to maintain a singular file for a specific data. Enabling timestamp will create unique timestamps for the PDFs created. Let's save the app. Now let's make an update to the data. You can see there's a background process running. This file has been created in this folder by default. Then this is how the PDF looks like if it's using the default template. Want to change the look and feel? That's simple. Let's head back to the template file. Basically here you can add any format to the template. I'll be using a template that I've created prior to this tutorial. I've added table design to the template with the parameters sorted. For this part, you can use based on your own creativity. And create any format that you like. I'm removing the default template now. Let's make an update to the app. Now if you go back to the file, the PDF is now using the new format. But now let's add an access to this PDF directly from the app. Instead of going directly into the OneDrive folder. 
I created a file column in my employee table for this purpose. Now let's add a formula to it. The format is as follows. Concatenate. File directory URL. Name column dot PDF. I will include this in the description down below. By doing this, which means it will look for the corresponding name.pdf. Let's insert the destination URL. This step is subjective depending on the platform that you are using. For OneDrive, it can be seen in the file properties path. If the URL consists of the file name, remove it and as the name PDF gets the job done. Let's have a look. Let's make another update to the data. Now you can see the PDF file is now displayed in the app. URL directory working just fine and PDF is showing as expected. In the upcoming PDF tutorial, I will include other automation methods such as email and etc. That's all folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.